The prototype of the Hyperloop that was realized by Hart Hyperloop was transported across the country to be showcased here in Groningen. Today we celebrate that Groningen will be home to the European Hyperloop Center, with the first actual Hyperloop being unveiled at the location just a few kilometers away where the European Hyperloop Center will be built. Government representatives, companies, students, experts discussed the importance of accelerating this much needed innovation. The infrastructure prototype that we see here behind us is built in a very modular and smart way that ensures the most cost-effective but also fastest implementation of the Hyperloop infrastructure. So in this case, it's here at the prototype, but in the next phase it will be at the European Hyperloop Center. And by doing this in such a modular way, you ensure the fastest way of implementing your Hyperloop infrastructure. Our country is a pioneer in the area of innovative and sustainable transport and mobility. And that is a position that we want to keep. This test centre is part of a bigger Hyperloop development programme, a public-private partnership that combines investments from several private companies. The Ministry of Economic Affairs and Climate Policy and my own ministry are also supporting this programme to the tune of 4.5 million euros. Which is going to be one of the most significant research and development facilities ever in the history of transport. It's because it takes some very difficult stuff and integrates it, proves it, demonstrates it, and turns uh, what was originally an idea from Elon Musk in 2013 through the application of brilliant Dutch and European engineering into a transport and mobility reality. So Groningen, I think, from today onwards, will be known for the European Hyperloop Centre and will be known as the home of Hyperloop.